So today we're going to find out how to make a button with a text thing that pops up and some more stuff and some text strings and some movie stuff and it's all kind of cool. Stick around. So if you want to skip all this video then uh, check out the blueprints here, so that's the custom button one and then this is the uh, level bl blueprint one. Now if you feel like I'm going too fast please do feel free to stop the video or check out the instructions in the description down below. But just launch the Unreal Engine um, through the standard way and then I'm going to be using a blueprint side scroller just because that's easy to use and easy to demonstrate with but you can use anything you like. Name it something you can find again and put it somewhere you can find again and make sure you include the starter content then hit create project. It might take a second if you've never opened UE before uh, or you know just the general stuff so bear with uh, your PC and UE. Now we're going to go to basic and pull out the box trigger that's there and resize it to roughly the size of a person or a character so that we can you know uh, be able to activate this trigger. In the details panel of the trigger I'm going to go down and replace it with a composite, uh, sorry, a uh, blueprint and then uh, may be basically call it button. It's something fairly simple. Um, we're going to uh, go into the components and as you can see there's the trigger that we just had. We're going to add a text render and if you've never used a text render before then you should probably check out some basic tutorials including our UE blueprints and matinee tutorial we did. Um, it's very popular so that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to rename this something, uh, the text in it to something like press E to use me um, and then move it because I'm mildly OCD but hey that's life. Um, and yeah you can uh, obviously change this if you like but this is uh, going to be our example so that's kind of important. Make sure that you uh, chain, uncheck the visible thing so we can change that later. Now in the, component, uh, the graph area right click and just go to add event collision and then actor begin overlap. We're also going to hit a uh, new variable on the left there and call it trigger just so we can set when the trigger is sort of high or low uh, kind of like a logic gate system. We're going to drag that out and hit set uh, so that we can set when the trigger is false or true and make sure that for the top one or begin overlap um, the uh, set is set high whereas for the end overlap it's uh, unchecked or set false. Once we've done that we're going to right click and type in branch so that we can uh, sort of compare the values and make sure uh, if something is uh, high or uh, sort of true or false. We're going to drag that trigger out again but this time hit get so that we can get the uh, you know value of this and if it is true then we can set the visibility uh, of that text render so uh, check that text render right click and type in toggle uh, for toggle visibility and then as you can see it comes up with the get for the um, text render and then just uh, get one of those for the um, you know the true and then copy and paste and get one of those for the false as well. Now we're going to do something called an event dispatcher here so that we're able to you know um, reference this blueprint from the level blueprint um, that's very important so we're going to make one of those by that little tab there uh, and make another one um, one called button false and one called button true the button true one will go to when the uh, branch says true and the visibility is true and then we're just going to you know uh, once it's finished setting visibility attach those out now make sure you compile this blueprint because I forgot to but um, yeah make sure you compile it and then save um, and then go back to the world um, editor and open up the world blueprint. Then we're going to right click in there and type in button true and button false um, and then uh, you know that's going to basically bring up that event dispatcher but as an event um, which is really cool uh, because we're now referencing another blueprint from the world blueprint which is really cool and I didn't know how to do that until I learned how to do this tutorial which is awesome and just Cool. We're going to right click again and type in gate which is basically kind of a uh, sort of a true or false system but also kind of has like an enable um, if you do electronics you'll understand. So we're going to right click it after we've done the gate and attach the uh, false to the close and the true to the uh, open. We're going to right click and hit E um, just because that's the key we want and then we're going to uh, press. We're going to right click and hit print string and then type in something like hey this works. Uh, maybe with a question mark because it probably shouldn't. But anyway, hit compile and then hit play. And as you can see, that's kind of the basic button. So we have that press E to use me text that pops up every time the character enters. And if I spam E, you get a little message on the side. Now, 
we did say we wanted to move something, so we're going to move that block there just for ease of use. Now, unfortunately, that's a brush and not a static mesh, so we're just going to convert it to a static mesh for now. Um, it doesn't really matter what you name it or where you put it, um, but I'm going to rebuild lighting because it just has a uh, you know, poop fit every time. But make sure you hit that movable tab there um, just under the coordinates, and then we can open up a matinee um, editor. So. Uh, use that little drop down tab and then make sure that in the world you've selected that object in that uh, in the world and then right click in that uh, tab area and just hit new group, new empty group make sure that that object is still selected then right click and add a new movement track as you can see there's already a keyframe there we're going to make this one and a half seconds just because we want to be able to see it move drag the timer out or time slider out move your object around somewhere I'm going to put it down there I think and then go back to the matinee editor or matinee or whatever you want to call it editor um, and hit the add key button then you're pretty much ready to uh, go all except you need to click that matinee actor and go to, back to your world blueprint make sure it's selected and then right click and hit uh, type in play and uh, now UE is smart enough to know that you just want to play that uh, matinee actor so after you've printed the string uh, attach that to the play and then you're ready to compile save and then play that is pretty much all you need to do. It's a really, really simple thing if you just want to use matinee. So we're going to hit E there. As you can see, it's just moved down in one and a half seconds, and it played that little string for us. I could go on with why it's uh, you know not quite working properly, but hey, that's fine. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments down below. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for me, and we'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video, you've probably seen enough of me already so I'm going to go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already liked or disliked, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos, hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out. Um, and yeah, obviously it shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.